Howdy everybody, it's the Soda Jerk with the SodaJerk.net with another soda review. Today's soda review is Mountain Dew Baja Point Break Punch. See that? See that Mountain Dew Baja Point Break Punch? Here's, um, I'm going to disappoint you now. I've never seen the film Point Break, so I can't make any Point Break, break references when reviewing this. I'm saddened by this. I wish I could. All I know is um, surfing bank robbers. There's my reference. Anyway, here's the... We've got an anglerfish with a berry on it. Look at that cool anglerfish. He's way above where his normal depth. He's out of his depth. <laughs> and then a, an octopus in a bucket hat. I like, I like Mountain Dew bottle art. I like that I got to say an octopus in a bucket hat. You don't get to say that very often. Say it. Out loud, say an octopus in a bucket hat. You're getting, it's going to make you feel a little bit better. Just a little bit. Good job. Thanks for those who actually said it. Anyway, this is Dew with a blast of natural and artificial tropical punch flavor. I like a good tropical punch flavor. This contains 0% juice, 74 grams of sugar, and 92 milligrams of caffeine in this 20 ounce bottle. Here are ingredients. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, natural and artificial flavor, citric acid, sodium benzoate, preserves freshness, caffeine, sodium citrate, gum arabic, calcium disodium EDTA, to protect flavor. Red 40. Bottle of the Authority PepsiCo Incorporated Portion New York 10567. If anyone ever asks me the zip code of Purchase New York, I'm pretty sure I would know 10577 at this point. This looks watermelon colored. Like if I were just to see this without a label, I would assume this is the color of a watermelon soda. But it's not, it's fruit punch. It smells like a punch. It smells like a punch with a little bit of a citrus twinge. I was going to say twang. I was going to say twinge. I said I said twinge. A little behind the scenes for you there. It smells good though. Hmm. Okay. Well, the first sip, it's kind of, shocking's not the word. It wasn't the flavor I was expecting. In fact, it was a little bit bitter. Um, kind of like the rind of a lemon or an orange. So I took a second sip, um, you know, because my mouth had become somewhat accustomed to it. I was hoping the second sip would go down a little bit easier, and it did. Let's go for a third. Okay. Full acclamation. So... Fruit-wise, there's pictures of pineapples and cherries on this. Um, I'm not sure. I'm ta Let me see what I'm tasting. I do taste pineapple, but it's not overly pineapple, which is nice. I'm not sure I taste cherry immediately. There's a bit of a cherry. Kind of how a Code Red has a cherry taste. This doesn't taste like... This tastes like the cherry out of a Code Red, but obviously it's going to be diluted with uh, pineapple sensation as well and it's lighter it's not overly sweet it's not sugary nonsense it's it's lighter it's um brighter it's braver it's better mountain dew it's a baja point break punch yeah this is this is good i'm not amazed by it i'm not like whoa i need more of this I kind of want more of a sting. I like a punch that stings a little bit the back of the throat. This has that sting. This is like baby bee sting. Like picking up a baby bumblebee. Ow, it stung me. Kind of sting. But in the back of the throat. I want, I want a hornet in the back of my throat. Yeah. But still, it's pleasant. Um, Carbonation-wise, a little bit of extra bubble. That didn't make sense. Ignore that sentence. Carbonation-wise, there's enough bubble to go past 
added texture. So that also was kind of messy, but we're going to roll with it. The Sometimes when a soda is flat and I say it adds texture, that's the minimal amount of bubble. It's like a step above that. It does primarily seem to be a, is that a cranberry? Does it look like a cranberry to you? Or a, like a, just a pink blueberry? I don't know. It is definitely a mixture of fruit though. I mean, and it's, it's enjoyable and it's refreshing. It'd be good on a hot day. This actually might be pretty good over ice. I don't usually, I don't do these reviews over ice. I don't usually drink soda over ice, but this would be pretty tasty over ice, even colder. It's a good summer beverage. It's a good summer soda, just sitting out in the backyard with all the mosquitoes, enjoying this Point Break, Baja Point Break Punch. Would be a, it's a good time. Don't forget, it's the 20th Baja Versary. You can scan this QR code and go somewhere with it. I don't know where, but there it is for you. If you don't want to go pick one of these up, you can scan that. No purchase necessary. Anywho. Oh, look, it's a little pineapple sun. That's fun. See, like, this label is great. I wish I was patient enough and had enough care to scan all of these labels in, like, a high-res setting. Just to, like, just to keep them, you know? Because they really are little tiny works of art. Just like you. Just like you. You know what else is a work of art? SodaJerk.net. With over 1,000 soda reviews, the SodaJerk.net is your one-stop shop for pop reviews. That is a true statement. The SodaJerk.net. I haven't tried them all. Yet.